Hey Fox, uh, here is another video walking and talking. And this one I'm addressing it to my dear liberals, especially white liberals, because they have this twisted mind, this twisted conception of um, individuals, of people, like what they call uh, uh, um, POC or people of color. So in their mind, if you are uh, from Brazil or from India and China and Egypt and Morocco and South Africa and Botswana, you are just a POC, a person of color. That's all you are. You are like one single monolith. You should think the same. You should act the same. You should love the same food. You should go to the same school. You should particularly, particularly this one, especially this one, you should vote for them. I, I don't understand this thinking because when you look into any country in the world, from the Philippines to Yemen or Syria to uh, Mogadishu to Zimbabwe to Brazil there seems to be the, or there are even the political factions even there uh, sometimes around the ideology the left and the right conservative versus not sure the leftists are at the moment not definitely liberals or sometimes uh, along tribal lines, sometimes along religious beliefs, etc., etc. So thinking that somebody from the north of India or, uh, I don't know, Kashmir or whatever, it's going to be the same as somebody from the southern India when they get to the United States and they'll be like one Indian. Or... A Shiite from the Middle East and a Muslim of other section from the Middle East should be one monolith that, I don't know, other factions they are there, but in every country you go to, you will find a lot of factions, a lot of uh, not division per se, but uh, differences in opinions, in beliefs, in, you know, in the politics, etc., etc. So we are not a monolith. We cannot think the same. We do not think the same. That is why you see some of us are conservatives. Some of us are liberals. Some of us are in between. It is what it is. Some of us are religious. Some others are not. It, it, the same way you wouldn't ask every white person to be liberal or conservative. The same way you don't ask every single white person to vote for Trump because he's white. In the same way you shouldn't ask us to vote for Kamala because she's black. Because to be told, the same way white people have got the right to choose and to think differently, we, the BIPOC, the minority, whatever you call us, we also have got our way of thinking we have got our own personal decision mechanism. We don't follow in a monolith, and definitely we are not your pawns. You don't just push us where you want us to be. Uh, Maybe a bit of an educational video this time, because I have read a lot of uh, comments online. Oh, I was shocked that people, Latinos, are not are voting for Trump. Why wouldn't they? Tell me one reason why Latino don't vote for anyone they want. Oh, I'm shocked in Britain we have got a conservative, black conservative. Why not? Like, especially these days where the left has adopted these very extreme views and ideologies that are even anti-families. And for all we know, the majority of people from developing countries from the Philippines to Nigeria, they are very religious, they are very family oriented. So expect actually to see more and more of us joining the conservative, whatever is on the conservative side, 
if for anything, if for nothing, just to save our families, we want our families safe. We want our children to be go to good schools. We want our daughters to be safe when they go to the bathrooms. We want our son to be son, to be boys. That's how we were raised. You can't just undo that. You see? And for a long time, we just keep silent because sometimes we're in need. We need that job. Uh, we don't want to be cancelled. We don't want to be insulted and shouted at. We come from very oppressive regimes and we stand to get, to just get um, along, just to, to survive. But when you go to the voting booth, you're not there. So you're not going to know what we did. Uh, it's okay, you can insult us after the election, but we did our deed, you know. So just not that thing and get used to seeing a different ideologies popping up, the people you do expect to be under your wings. And I don't know exactly why you think they should be under your wings. Because uh, one other thing you don't know is that uh, some of the leaders of the liberal world have actually destroyed entire countries. <coughs> Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, they, they bombed Yemen. They kicked the Qaddafi out of the country. They killed the Qaddafi who was running Libya very well. And the other conflicts um, in Euro Eastern Europe, in Africa, in the Middle East, where actually liberal politicians were heavily involved to destroy the infrastructure, to remove a leader they loved, and to leave countries in a complete shamble. We haven't forgotten. We haven't. And, uh, or maybe you think we don't know, or maybe you don't know, but we know, and we won't forget. So, yeah, that's my message to my friends, white liberals. I used to have some in, um, friends in some of the places. We had a bit of discussion now and then, and the most part I didn't talk much. But we don't like to be called talk in the first place. Uh, we don't like to be put in a basket and given a name by a lunatic college liberal professor who hasn't even been in our families to see what kind of food we eat, see what kind of dialogue we have, see what kind of relationship we, we make between ourselves. You're sitting in a college in Ivory Tower and you say, ah, these people, ah, let's call them of color. Let's call them Latinx. Let's call them, I don't know what other names we're coming up with. We don't like that, okay? Uh, so, yeah, that's my angry message to my dear liberal friends. Have a good day.